differences are you don't even notice them. But you will after you see this story. We're talking about underride guards. They're those barriers on the back of trucks to keep you from sliding underneath. But after several recent crashes, our Call 6 investigators took a closer look and discovered many of those safety features might not be enough to keep you safe. Critics argue federal regulations don't go far enough and people are dying and getting hurt because of it. Call 6 investigator Kara Kinney joins us now with details on what you can look for while you're on the road. Well, Erica, this is an underride guard. It's required on the back of the trailer on most big trucks like this. Now, side guards are not required in the United States, even though some countries do have them. Experts we spoke with say our federal regulations are lacking, causing a driving danger that most people aren't even aware of. You might think this will never happen to you or someone you love. It is really the most horrific crashes that you can be involved in. These crashes shut down Indiana highways in recent months. The drivers killed when they smashed into truck trailers. Experts tell the Call 6 investigators a deadly danger likely played a role in adequate guards to stop a car from sliding underneath. Take a look at the difference it can make. A weaker guard on the left, a stronger guard on the right. A major difference, especially inside the car where you sit. Bill Hutchins is one of the lucky drivers. I thought I was dying. He was trying to merge onto I-65 when he and a truck collided, pinning him underneath the side of the truck and dragging him for miles. It was a hideous sound. Bill survived, but with neck and back problems. I can't mow the lawn. I can't do anything. Crash analyst Bruce Enns says Bill's injuries might have been prevented if the federal government required side guards on trucks. He designed guards like these that could become popular if federal law makes them mandatory. Right now, we see them in you know, Australia, New Zealand, Japan, China, Europe. Enns is a national expert based in Indianapolis who has investigated more than 7,000 crashes. How'd you like to be sitting in that driver's seat? and has performed dozens of his own side impact crash tests. Although rear impact guards are required by federal law, and says most are not strong enough to prevent death and serious injuries, even at low speeds. A standard car coming in at 20, 25 miles an hour is got more force, more momentum than what these guards can withstand. This is really a life or death situation. Oh, yes. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety agrees, pointing to 260 people killed a year from cars crashing into the backs of trucks. The Institute took the issue head on, performing tests that found guards fully intact and up to date can fail and kill. Indiana State Police inspectors and troopers check to make sure trucks have a guard, but they can't test if that guard will hold up in a crash. We don't have any equipment that's going to test that uh, durability or tensile strength of of the construction of those bumper bars. In the past three years, state police have handed out more than 60 violations for inadequate guards. Inspection reports obtained by the Call 6 investigators show guards rusted, broken, missing, bent, even held up by bungee cords. Check out this mangled, rusted, bent bumper the Call 6 investigators saw on 465. You can even see through it in some spots. The truck's from Minnesota. The driver didn't want to tell us why his underride guard violated a law aimed at protecting all of us. We just want to ask you some questions about your bumper. Tom, follow me. It's you assault. Need you need to leave. State police inspected the guard and confirmed the problem. Police also found a violation on this truck because its guard was not in the correct position, making it worthless to stop drivers from going under. It's supposed to be down. Yeah. When you're dumping, it's allowed to be up. I thought it was back far enough or low enough to be okay. I'll get that fixed. Critics say the feds have been slow to toughen standards for guards. Just weeks ago, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration released a study that may lead to changes, including more stringent rear impact guard requirements. Bill Hutchins hopes those changes include requiring side impact guards, guards that might have stopped him from going underneath a truck. That would have changed the whole, the whole accident. Bill doesn't drive much anymore. He wasn't ticketed, but police say he failed to yield to the truck. I'm petrified on the, on the interstate now. But for the millions of Hoosiers, the deadly danger remains, whether you notice it or not. 
Now, trucking companies cited for inadequate guards can drive away and still remain on the road. Drivers who get a citation usually have to pay a fine around $150. Now, the Indianapolis Trucking Company ticketed in our story tells Call 6 that guard is fixed. The Minnesota company did not get back with us. And Kara, what does the trucking industry say about all this? Well, obviously, it would be very expensive to make all these changes, but some argue that those changes aren't even necessary in the first place. The American Trucking Associations told us, quote, we must also focus on preventing these types of crashes in the first place because the best underride guard is the one that never needs to be used. And the Truck Trailer Manufacturers Association says this type of accident usually involves serious driver error and we have complete statements from both of those groups online along with a new federal study all you have to do is just look for this story on the rtv6 app all right thank you so much kara Kinney. you're welcome